All right, good morning, thank you. You can, I think, sense a whole lot of excitement going on here. It's a thrilling day. I'm thrilled to be here. Now, homelessness has plagued our city for decades, and too many of our neighbors are living in horrific and tragic conditions. And I've just gotten to come from the Homeless Planning Council's meeting, which is just a fantastic atmosphere. Um, and they are wrapping up their meeting today, but they have a lot to celebrate, and I want to thank them for their tireless work, tireless work and dedication to this issue. And Nashville is fortunate to have a passionate and committed community of individuals and organizations who are doing incredible work on behalf of our unhoused residents. And today is, would not be possible without their hours of hard work and their unwillingness to let an extremely difficult challenge deter them or to be deterred. We are not deterred. Now, the magnitude and complexity of having a problem like homelessness is staggering, and that's why we've needed a plan that, feet, that meets the magnitude of the problem. A plan that meets the magnitude of the problem. And I'm proud to say today that we have that plan. And I'm grateful to the Metro Council for approving it last night. I think it was about at midnight. Um, now, it's a plan grounded in a proven national model that has been successful in cities across the country. Now, Houston implemented a similar approach a little more than a decade ago, and they've seen a 63% drop in the number of homeless people in their city, and they have moved 25,000 individuals from the streets into stable housing. Milwaukee has reduced their homeless count by 92%. Austin, Texas has seen great reductions, as did Mobile, Alabama, Columbus, Ohio, San Diego, California, and New Orleans, Louisiana. Now, what all these cities have in common is that they share a housing-first approach, and that is the philosophy our plan, our plan, our plan is built on. Now, the $50 million plan, the, our $50 million plan passed by the council last night does three core things. It ramps up our capacity for temporary housing to get folks off the street as soon as possible. Two, it creates fast and effective avenues to build permanent supportive housing so we can move people into more long-term, stable housing units. And three, it provides critical services like physical and mental health care, addiction counseling, case management, and support to keep residents, to keep residents in safe housing and off the street. Now, the upfront costs of instituting a true Housing First plan are steep, and that's why the opportunity to use American Rescue Plan federal dollars to help finance these initial large costs, why that is, why that is so important. But we're wasting no time getting to work. In addition to approving the plan last night, the council approved a grant to Community Care Fellowship to expand their mobile housing navigation so we can start housing more people immediately. And within the next week, the Metro Homeless Impact Division will release an RFP to recreate housing for supportive services and to do that immediately. And we also expect to have a contract with the Salvation Army for additional hotel rooms and additional staff and security by the next council meeting in two weeks. Now, I'm joined by so many Nashville's incredible leaders today. We, I won't have time to thank each one of you who deserve it, but I do want to say a spe few specific words of appreciation. I'm grateful to our vice mayor and the council members who helped make this pass at that late hour last night. Council. Member Toombs, Council Member Hauser, Council Member, Member Druffel, Council Member Cash, Council Member Withers, they are all here today and I just want to thank them for their hard work. And I want a special thanks and recognition to April Calvin, our Interim Director of Metro's Homeless Impact Division. April, thank you. And Yaha Martin, who chairs the HPC, I think three months, three months into her chairship. This is a great achievement for this organization and her time as chair. 
And then a very important person, Kathy Jennings, who chairs the shelter committee. Thank you, Kathy, so much. Right? Where? Okay, there she is, standing in the back. All right, but I want to acknowledge her and bring her to the forward. Now, finally, to all of the service providers who are our boots on the ground, helping to take care of our unhoused population every day, what you do is so appreciated and valued by your city. Thank you for your hard work. It's thankless, but let us thank you today. And let's double those and triple those efforts in the days before. And now let me turn it over to April for a few words, and then let's sign the legislation and get on with our bright future. Thank you all for coming out today. This is a story of gratitude. I would like to thank Mayor Cooper for his bold leadership and unprecedented proposed and approved investment. I would like to thank Metro Council for having the courage to approve such a huge investment, addressing homelessness as it relates to our Nashville neighbors. Our COC and our HPC leadership, your overarching strategic plan will help guide this body of work. I commend the unwavering support of the nonprofits, the faith-based industry, our advocates that band together to devise a collective plan, providing staff time, lobbying your council members, and support of these four designated investment priorities. This body of work would not have been, been made possible without MDHA, our partnership with them, without Office of Planning, Angie Hubbard, without OEM and FIRE, without the Mayor's Office, Metro Council, Metro Social Services, and Metro Homeless Impact Division team, and our consultant, Stacy Horncoch. Direct service providers, I stand in solidarity with Mayor Cooper in expressing gratitude for the heart, H-E-A-R-T, hard work that you do every day. May God bless you, and with the deployment of these funds, may God bless the vulnerable Nashville neighbors. This is where the real work begins, drafting the RFPs, strategically aligning resources, coordinating with our HUD TA, deploying funds, scaling up programs, and then moving on to the radical, unconditional love and care that we provide our Nashville neighbors. Let us think of a high-performing community as we begin removing and reducing barriers, knocking down status quo, and equipping our Nashville neighbors, eliminating the operational processes that were devised out of scarcity. Let these funds move us forward. In the words of the great Jay Survey, I'm not sure if he's here today, um, Metro Social Services and Metro Homeless Impact Division their current operational pace exudes leadership urgency, displays community collaboration, and these funds will move um, to provide security and life-saving measures needed for our displaced Nashville neighbors. Again, this is a story of gratitude for Metro, and this is a story of community collaboration. Thank you. He's, uh, was it two hours of sleep last night? Three, three. three. Okay, for everybody. We'll, we got the council member. We got Freddie back. Oh, council member up here. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, you deserve it. I you deserve it. Okay, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. My gratitude to everybody here. So I may not be able to get up. Okay. <laughs> we have a lot of people who are going to help here at this table. Okay. okay, are we are we ready? Okay, April, here we go. Uh-huh, here we go. All, All right. four. It's comprehensive. <laughs> And the last one. Okay. Good. Done. Good. Thank you. Fantastic. Really great. Thank you.
This has been a service of the Metro Nashville Network. If you would like to see this presentation again, or for more information on this and other programs, visit nashville.gov.